Imagine a place so deep that if you dropped Mount Everest into it, there would still be more than a mile of water above it. A place so dark and cold that only a few creatures can survive its crushing pressure and extreme temperatures. A place so remote and mysterious that only a handful of humans have ever visited it. This is the Mariana Trench, the deepest and most fascinating frontier of our planet. The Mariana Trench is a massive crack in the ocean floor, located in the Western Pacific Ocean, about 200 kilometers east of the Mariana Islands. It is part of a subduction zone where one tectonic plate slides under another, creating a huge amount of pressure and heat. The trench is shaped like a crescent moon and stretches for about 2,550 kilometers, which is longer than the distance from New York to Los Angeles. The trench is also very narrow, only about 69 kilometers wide, which is less than the width of Switzerland. But the most impressive feature of the trench is its depth. The deepest point of the trench and the entire planet is called the Challenger Deep. It is named after the British ship HMS Challenger, which first measured the depth of the trench in 1875. The Challenger Deep is a small slot-shaped valley in the floor of the trench, and it is so deep that if you dropped Mount Everest into it, it would still be more than two kilometers underwater. The exact depth of the Challenger Deep is hard to measure, but the most recent estimate is 10,928 meters or 35,853 feet. That's almost 11 kilometers or seven miles down. To put that in perspective, that's like stacking 36 Eiffel Towers on top of each other or flying a plane at cruising altitude and then diving straight down. So what does it look like down there? Well, we don't have a lot of direct observations because it is very difficult and dangerous to explore the trench. Only a handful of people have ever been to the bottom of the trench and only a few robotic probes have sent back images and data. The pressure at the bottom of the trench is more than 1,000 times the pressure at sea level, which means that any vessel or instrument that goes down there has to be specially designed and reinforced to withstand the crushing force. The temperature is also very low, around 1 to 4 degrees Celsius or 34 to 39 degrees Fahrenheit. And of course, there is no light, except for the occasional bioluminescence of some creatures. The only people who have ever been to the bottom of the trench were Swiss engineer Jacques Picard and US Navy Captain Don Walsh. They stayed at the Challenger Deep, the lowest point of the trench, for about 20 minutes, at a depth of 10,916 meters. Picard and Walsh used a special ship called Trieste to go down to the trench. The ship had a big float on top and a small sphere at the bottom. The sphere was where Picard and Walsh sat and looked out of a window. As they went deeper and deeper, the pressure increased and the float got smaller. The window also got stressed by the pressure and cracked. This was very dangerous because if the window broke, water would rush in and crush the sphere and the people inside. Picard and Walsh reached the deepest point of the trench, called Challenger Deep, after about five hours. They saw a crack in their window, which scared them. They decided to end their mission and go back up. After that, only a few machines and robots have reached the Challenger Deep, such as the Japanese Kaiko in 1995 and 1998, the US Nereus in 2009, and the Chinese Haidu-1. The most recent and remarkable exploration of the trench was done by Canadian filmmaker and explorer James Cameron in 2012, who used a custom-made submarine called Deep Sea Challenger. He was the first person to go to the Challenger Deep alone, and he spent about three hours there collecting samples and video footage. Another record-breaking exploration was done by American explorer Victor Vescovo in 2019, who used a submarine called Limiting Factor. He went deeper than Cameron, to a depth of 10,928 meters, 35,853 feet, and he also found new species and plastic waste at the bottom. 
But despite these harsh conditions, the trench is not a lifeless wasteland. In fact, it is home to a variety of life forms, some of which are unique to the extreme environment. The trench hosts microbial communities that thrive on the organic matter and minerals that are released from the subducting plate. These microbes are the basis of a food chain that supports larger organisms, such as amphipods, holothurians, and fish. Some of the animals that have been observed or collected in the trench include the Mariana snailfish, which is the deepest living fish known to science, the supergiant amphipod, which is a shrimp-like creature that can grow up to 30 centimeters long, the sea cucumber Enipniastes eximia, which is a transparent and pinkish blob that crawls along the seafloor, single-celled organism that can reach up to 20 centimeters in diameter and looks like a ball of slime. The Mariana Trench is also a site of scientific interest and exploration, as it provides insights into the geology, biology, and chemistry of the deep ocean. The trench is protected by the Mariana Trench Marine National Monument, which was established in 2009 by the United States. The monument covers an area of about 246,608 square kilometers and includes the trench and the surrounding sea mounts and volcanic islands. The monument aims to conserve the natural and cultural resources of the region and promote scientific research and education. The Mariana Trench is a fascinating and mysterious place that challenges our imagination and curiosity. It is a reminder of how much we still have to learn about our planet and its oceans. Thank you for watching MetaHub Discovery and stay tuned for more episodes where we explore the wonders of the deep. Until next time, keep diving.